From 2015, hours to go before two of the Bali Nine are to face the firing squad in Indonesia, the Australian government is attempting a Hail Mary, but every reasonable thing that can be done has been. While it is true that there is Indonesian pride, which is ensuring the sentence will be carried out, there are other issues too. Mayuren and Andrew are both guilty as charged. The penalty is the one assigned for the charge by Indonesian law. A few others who have been assigned the death penalty have had their sentences commuted. There are allegations flying around. One allegation is that the sentencing judge asked for a bribe. Another is that the Australian Federal Police should have waited for the return of the drug dealers before arresting them so as to use Australian law, not Indonesian law. While the behaviour of the judge were it true reprehensible, it would be hard to uphold a malpractice case where the judge was not paid any money. But if the judge were paid money, then it would mean that others not assigned a death penalty would have to have their cases examined. The allegation involving the Australian Federal Police would lead nowhere too. Police are apolitical and expected to fight crime by direct opposition, not by temporising. The allegation was raised by friends of the ALP, who were seeking to make a name for themselves without helping the Bali Nine, and they achieved that end. They have worked to oppose practical steps that might have helped the two who will die tonight. The ALP could have had their lawyers advising the two to help the investigators early on. It has been ignored recently as media try to blame the Liberal Party for coming executions, but when Andrew Myuren could have helped themselves by coming clean to the investigators, when they were caught, they stonewalled and threatened others, claiming their colleagues who had not been captured had a long reach. That long reach won't help them. It doesn't help them now, as it is old news. They have no bargaining chip, except a claim that they have rehabilitated. But rehabilitation is never a mitigating factor in a death penalty offence. They committed their crimes when they were young, too young to judge the consequences, but old enough to know them. I know people who know them. I don't want them to die. I am angry at the Australian Labour Party government for politicising and not helping them when they could have. I hear celebrities outrageously campaigning against those who have worked hardest to save Andrew Myurn. I note the campaign against Mr Abbott has overreached, and some celebrities have apologised. Too late for the two to be executed. Send any flowers to the ABC who have campaigned against the Australian government, against the interests of Andrew Myurin. Andrew, take courage. You are going home. The executions in Indonesia involving more than the two Australians. Indonesian laws firm on the issue for a reason. After the Tiananmen Square massacre, then Australian Bo uh, PM Bob Hawke spoke with a senior Chinese official, pointed out Australia had room and perhaps she could accommodate some of those pushing for political reform in China. The Chinese official asked, How many millions do you want? Indonesia is not rich and struggles to pay for their public service enough to be impartial. Their solutions are cheap and nasty. Kudos to any who can find a better way. On this day in 1192, dope fiend assassins killed the recently elected king of Jerusalem. In 1253, a Japanese monk named Nishiren simplified Buddhism. In 1503... The Spanish fought the French with firearms on both sides, a first in history regarding firearms. Apparently, they were effective, but they took out all the sport. In 1789, Captain Bly faced mutiny on the bounty and lost. In 1869, Chinese and Irish laborers for the Central Pacific Railroad laid 10 miles of track in a single day, a record never again achieved. In 1887, a war with France was avoided when Kaiser Wilhelm I ordered the release of Guillaume Schneebel by Prussian secret police. In 1932, a vaccine for yellow fever was announced. In 1945, Benito Mussolini and his mistress, Clara Petacci, were executed by a firing squad consisting of members of the Italian resistance movement. The execution of Clara seemed harsh. She was 33 years old. Her brother was captured at the same time. He wasn't executed. However, uh, Marcello Petacci was shot trying to escape.